I'm here at Comic Con with Nathan Burney, the writer and illustrator of the Illustrated Guide to Law. Tell me, how did you get comic books and law in the same place and make it fun? Well, it started off, I've got a blog that I write uh, about criminal law. It's pretty dense, lots of words. And there's so many myths out there about criminal law that are just absolutely wrong, like entrapment and self-defense and all kinds of stuff like that. And I was trying to write about that. And I figured, no one's going to read this. So I decided, you know, doctor it up with a few drawings, a few simple little sketches to make it easier to uh, get the point across. Just as a sidebar to the blog, and all of a sudden it got really popular really fast. It was way more popular than the blog. And uh, when I realized people were actually reading it online, I said, well, I at least better make the art more consistent. I can't make it better, but I can make it more consistent. And it turned it into more of like a webcomic kind of thing. And that's where it took off. And next thing I knew, I had a book deal, and now I'm here. And uh, have you been interested in comics for uh, a long time then? Oh, yeah, definitely. Er ever since I was a kid. What, do you work also full time or? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a full time lawyer. This, I do this for fun in my spare time, although it's turning into a full time second job pretty much. <laughs> What, how many uh, different areas of law have you gotten through? Are you gonna and are you gonna add more as well? Oh yeah, the publisher wants me to do a series. So this first book is on criminal law, and then it's gonna be criminal procedure. And the, the difference is criminal law is the stuff you can get in trouble for, and criminal procedure is the stuff that the government has to do before they're allowed to punish you for it. Uh, and then after that, probably constitutional law, all that fun, uh, uh, controversial stuff that's probably gonna just really upset a lot of people because all those hot topic issues. That's all constitutional law. And then after that, uh, they want me to do all the other subjects that people cover, like the first year in uh, law school, like property contracts, uh, corporate, whatever. Yeah. Um, the books that you're writing are based on uh, American laws. Is there any uh, chance that there would be any other country laws that might be uh, a, there might be a series made for in the future? I, I've been asked uh, Australia and Canada, uh, but and England. But I don't know those laws. They're, I know American law. Uh, but I, 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 if somebody else would write it, I'd draw it for them. But I don't think I'd be competent to write those. So if somebody were to send you a competent script from the laws of another country, you'd be interested potentially in drawing for it? Yeah, sure. We could work together like that. All right. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you for speaking with me.